trace out these wires, I bought this tool from Harbor Freight that you hook up and basically I'm hooked into the hot and neutral and the line and of course there's no power to the house um, otherwise you'd blow this thing up and it sends out a signal and allows you to trace it to other outlets to find out where the circuit is. So I spent about three hours the other day tracing circuits in this place trying to figure out what's going where. And there's a breaker labeled Kitchen GFI that doesn't work at all. And I couldn't find, I mean none of the outlets work. I traced it all over, I got this handy tool, you know, and I bring it over, but it never makes it over to the box. So right before I left, uh, because it was getting dark and I need to turn the generator on to have electricity here until I get the power hooked up, um, I mentioned to my wife that I couldn't find a light switch for the light in here. And that's when I realized there's a brand new piece of drywall up. And that's why I can't find the circuit. Apparently they just cut the boxes off and drywalled right over top of it. Well, that would explain why I'm not getting power. So now I have to trace out all this stuff um, and figure out where everything's going. So what I did was I pulled the circuit from the breaker and I hooked this up to the neutral and the hot. <clears throat> and if we come over here, it's just noise. So I'm guessing these probably go up to the light which I'll have to trace this out next. But if I come over here, there's noise on the common, neutral. So this is the circuit coming from the breaker that's been cut off. And I'll test that by hooking up a GFCI that I've got laying around and verify it. And turn the breaker on, and it's all good.
Okay, so we've got all our neutrals all stuck together. We got hots coming in. These are going to go to the bottom of the switch. And then these two go out to the lights, which I've got labeled. This is the outside light, so that'll be the left switch. And then the right one will be the upside light. And then all the grounds group together, and these two will go to the switches. The switches have, I don't know if you can read that, but there's a, it says top. So you always make sure you put the top up. And then this powers out to the light. This is the power coming in. Make sure you, when you put the screws on, or the wires on the screws, always make sure you wrap them the way you're going to turn the screw. That way the, uh, well actually these have the little brackets on them, so. Straighten those back out. Alright, so we got the top, and then uh, these have little brackets on them. So this goes out to the light, so it's the top side. And then power coming in. this with the little hook. You want to make sure that you put it on the direction you're going to screw the screw so that way it twists around and grips. Alright, that's the outside light.